This might be one of the most beautiful vehicles I've ever seen in my entire life. Damn! You just found treasure. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another episode of You Made Me Buy It. We're at the Salt Lake City Airport getting ready to head to Yuba City, California because one of you guys knows that I have a terrible, terrible addiction to just buying stuff. A couple days ago, I got an email from one of you guys, Sylvester McKinney, about a Facebook Marketplace buying. Now, so these are some of my favorite emails because Facebook Marketplace, that's where we bought the Het Wrecker. That's where we bought the seven ton Oshkosh. Take my wife on our kitchen table. You guys have sent me so many cool emails and we follow up and we go buy this really cool stuff. Anyways, I got an email from Sylvester and he said, hey, check out this beautiful, beautiful machine on Facebook Marketplace. It's a freak that had a baby with a What are they drive in heaven? And it's a And I am so freaking excited. Been trying to message this guy for a few days now. Wouldn't respond, wouldn't respond. He finally got back to me last night. He's like, yeah, come on out, it's available. First flight of the day. We are on our way. So thank you, Sylvester, for your email. And uh, thank you to the rest of you guys who've always sent us cool stuff on Facebook Marketplace. So Sylvester, this video is dedicated to you. Email me cool stuff that you find on Facebook Marketplace. If it's something unique or interesting, we may make a video going and buying it. Can you tell me the traveling essentials? Take your phone, in case you get lost, you can call for help. No charger though, or do you have a charger? Because it's heavy D, don't tell him, but I've got a <laughs> charger. It's Dave's. A pair of headphones from the last flight. A string. A string? Well, some rope. What about your wallet? In case you, you want to practice tying knots on the airplane. And yeah, of course your wallet. It is like super clean. Is that a sunroof? The roof is just a glass. He says everything works. Which I'll be the judge of that. Yeah. Someone's just going to be lounging heavy on that couch. Oh, well. Yeah. How reliable do you think this vehicle is going to be? Scale of one ton of reliability, I'm giving it a six. I'm more afraid of like the tires. When was the last time this thing was on the road? Drove. Driven. Do you trust this thing will get us home? I trust that we will get us home. Whether it's it, or us, or a group effort, it'll get us home. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's Dave. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? We're uh, we're gonna be closer to 4 o'clock, but we're on our way now. Alrighty. That work? We'll be here. Alright, yep. thanks. Guys, I gotta tell you something uh, that's actually really fun for me. And that is buying vehicles sight unseen. To me, it's a game. My hunch, my gut on this uh, vehicle, since I've only seen a handful of pictures, talked to the owner for a few minutes last night, I believe it's a gem, a little hidden gem. He told me that it was built by like a Boeing uh, aerospace engineer, like hand built by him for himself back in the day. And this guy's like maybe the second owner. Expectation level, I bet it's gonna come in right around a seven or an eight, which wow. is pretty good. I don't know what we're gonna do with this thing. I have literally have not thought beyond driving at home. It's one of a kind. There's nothing else out there like it that I've ever seen before, which is why we have to have it. Now we are 30 minutes away from his house. Hopefully getting ready to pick up an absolute gem of <laughs> Something just caught my eye in the field. Uh, not really sure. Oh what exactly it was, but it looked like it was right up my alley. It looked like, what is your alley? What is your alley? It looked like a, it looked like a, a mini cement mixer truck on, on tank tracks made to go underground. That yeah, sounds like your alley. Sir, what are you? Oh, I think it's an orchard dryer. Yeah, it's a dryer. Is that a big tur uh, turbine? This is awesome. Picture how much fun I could have at parades with that thing. It was a good eye, man. Good eye. Very unique vehicle. Rolling up. About to find out if we're getting catfish or not. Getting butterflies. Not gonna lie. Like walking out of my room on Christmas morning. I do. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even better in real life. Oh, just sitting there looking. Freaking Hi, guys. Oh, like a snack. It's a yard ornament. I'm gonna get the cash right now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull any punches. Is 
up, John? How you doing? Okay, he's gone. Talk to him. John, I didn't good. believe it was you. <laughs> that was a scam? Yeah. You guys are more than welcome to take a look at all you want. Start it up. Are you seeing this? Are you freaking seeing? Come here, hold on. Picture that thing coming up in your rearview mirror. What do you do? You smile. That's the only thing you can do. That's all I'm gonna be able to do on the whole drive home. Look at it. It looks like a cartoon character. This might be one of the most beautiful vehicles I've ever seen in my entire life. Tell me I'm wrong. You're not wrong. I can't even argue with you on this. This is an absolute gem. Right? Absolute gem. You just found treasure. I think you're gonna live in it. I think I have, yes. I'm putting my house up for sale now. Anybody wanna buy it? So, not a Freightliner motor and engine. No Freightliner parts other than the cab. Chassis, engine, drivetrain, all are from an Itasca RV. So what, what motor Dude, is in it? It doesn't even smell like it looks. <laughs> it smells clean. It's got a 350 V8. Dude, this thing is mint. Oh, it does smell clean. Right? Yeah. Hold on, like hold on. A 1970, yeah, that's the original truck. A 1974 <laughs> camper should not smell like this. A camper that's two years old shouldn't smell like this. And look who it is. The original king of the road that sacrificed his life to become this beautiful rig. You see this, Dave? Whoa, awesome. Before his uh, transition. Your whole bathroom is a shower? It's a no fart zone too. You just get the whole thing wet. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. The shower head's right up there. That wood, I'm wondering how well Price it does. Price there's a nice sauna. Warning! Fart zone. <laughs> Enter at your own risk. This thing's pretty well built. I mean, some of the angles are a little bit off, but what do you expect? This is like, this is how every motorhome ever should have been built. Out of cab over truck. Look at that. Secret compartment. Do you think at any moment in time in this vehicle's life it was smuggling drugs? The, this right here looks insane. You're right? Standing That's there. what I'm telling you. This thing is cherry. This is the picture that sold me on it when I saw this. I was like, oh, it's really clean. It's in all the mystery compartments. Yeah, I'm, I think we'll find some guns at some point. Look at this. Wild. Everything's just a compartment. This just folds down to a compartment. This is amazing. That's nice. That's a comfy chair. It's decent. But it's decent. Not great? No, it's not. It's not bad. I mean, I, I, I say you take that Suburban back to the rental store and we just commit. Hell yeah. Yeah. I say so yeah. too. The rental store? Just drop it off at the rental store? Yeah, yeah the rental shop. <laughs> the local rental shop. What's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> all done by a Boeing engineer. Really? It was all put together. There's a book somewhere in here. Man. I cannot believe how intact it is. Ah. Look out. No door like that in my house would ever work after like two or three weeks. Oh, dude. This is where you're riding. <laughs> you just play a game of cards. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, guys? Good to meet you, man. Is yours? Yeah. Dude, this thing's the coolest. Yeah, this is rad. You just never know. How long you so, have? Well, Dad bought it off a Boeing engineer mm -hmm. uh, probably seven, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. He passed away two years ago, he, almost three. So she wants it out of here. I wanted to take it off right at the sleeper right there, yeah. put a flatbed on it with a floater axle up behind That'd it. That would be pretty sweet. A Cummings, of course. It drives real nice. Yeah, it looks like you put some time into it. It was well built. Well, you know, as the engineer built it, I mean, it's seamless on the outside, yeah. you know, it's really impressive. So he took an Itasca motorhome yeah. and the Freightliner cab over and meshed them? Yeah, well. With uh, uh, the wrapping I is done the, with Winnebago. Yeah. It's got a, 
a small block in it that you put a cam in it. Okay. And then it's got a Head headers, dual, dual exhaust, exhaust, thrust mufflers, and I got to show you guys something. <laughs> what we're working on over here, down the road here. It's all inspired by you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have built this thing. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, it's I'm serious, but it's a it's a '46 Dodge. Put a Cummings in it, a four wheel drive unit underneath it. But yeah, it's all you guys. Well, cool, man. Glad this, to hear that. Yeah. But, Glad uh, you did something with the motivation. You got the keys to this? Yeah, they're down on the seat, aren't they? It needs an electric pump back there. Pump that throttle a few times there. Oh, do you have the battery in it? No. It's in my truck. <laughs> <laughs> gonna need one of those. It's not gonna lie. I was really excited for that. Now it's building anticipation. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to drive this bad girl home. Looks like it's just gonna ride so nice. So we'll check it out with you got a generator? Yeah, yeah, she does. Nice. Obviously, number one. Hey, the rig. The rig. God, it's beautiful. Just king of every KOA. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's what she still does right there. Looks way cooler now. I don't know how this much paper for my own kids. The full floor plan? Yeah, that's wild. I'm telling you, this is a little gem. I'm so place. glad nobody beat us to it. No greater place has ever took to the road. This is all. All right, I'll get it. <laughs> you don't want to see the book anymore. <laughs> There's a squirrel up there taunting me. Yeah. He's got smacked by an acorn. My car doesn't even idle this smooth. <laughs> no, that sounds great. You just look how fancy that thing looks out front. for you where is the first place you would go or the first thing you would do had you just purchased a bad unit like this one I'll tell you mom's mine house. mom's house your mom's house my mom would love this thing she would love this. yeah besides my mom's house I would want to show all my friends and family I want to figure out somewhere to take this bad boy camping I want to find some trails some off-road that's why the sponsor of today's video is so freaking perfect Onyx off-road Onyx, I've been using it actually for years, long before they ever sponsored the channel. The off-road version allows me to scroll through here and look at different locations, and then I can zoom in to areas that you know I kind of want to go check out, and it has all the off-road trails mapped out. You can click on the trail and it tells you how difficult it is, how long it is, what type of vehicles are required, when it's opened, if it's closed. So rather than wasting time driving to some trail that's either gonna to be too rutted out for this thing or closed or on private land, I can just scroll through Onyx real quick, click on it, Oh, cool, I want to check out that area. Yep, that trail's perfect for this. It's got like pictures, you can set waypoints, you can actually have a track. It'll plot a trail to show you exactly where you came from, where you're going, how fast you were going. Some of the other things I love about it is you can zoom in and you can click on different pieces of land and it'll tell you whether it's public land, federal government land, private land. I use that feature all the time because sometimes we see some cool pieces of land that we want to go check out, but you gotta get permission. Click on it, boom, there's the owner's information, contact them. Guys, it's a very, very powerful tool. It's good for really anybody. Even if you don't do a ton of off-roading, 
you could still use this map because it gives you ideas for different shortcuts. It gives you, you know, camping ideas. It, it gives you like avalanche reports, all sorts of different snow conditions. If you turn on snow mode, let's say you don't have cell service, but you can download the maps of that area before you lose service. So you have full access to all the details of the map without even any cell, cell service. It's like full blown GPS navigation for off the beaten path trails and routes, such as this one that we're about to go down now which I know we can make it on because Onyx says it is very, very mild and does not require four wheel drive. Onyx actually has a couple of new features that I really love. First one is a route builder tool. You can actually filter down different types of trails that you're looking for and you can put together this entire route and you can create folders. So I create a route or a waypoint or an area of interest that I love. Well, I put it in this folder and then I can just text it over to Hans or Dave or whoever if they're gonna meet me there. So I really appreciate Onyx uh, sponsoring this video because it's a product that I've been using long before they ever sponsored us. Um, and I talked them into hooking you guys up big time. Right now, if you click the link in my description below and download the app, use the uh, promo code SPARKS20, you're gonna get 20% off the service just like that. Just like Onyx said, a smooth, beautiful dirt road into God's country. So guys, Listen, I want you to go explore the great outdoors and get to see some of the beautiful stuff that we get to see. Download the Onyx app by clicking the link in my description below. Use the promo code SPARKS20, get 20% off, create some files, create some trails, create some routes and some waypoints, and let me know where the cool spots are. Shoot them over, info at heavydsparks.com. I would love to see how you use this app. Let's get out there and explore. How smooth is that? It's the smoothest thing ever. I think I found my new daily driver. So remember the whole old uh, expectation meter that I said I had? I set this at a seven, which is a high score. I'm walking away at like a nine right now. This bad boy, no longer hooked up. See that fuel? Yeah, I'd say it's probably time to stop the fuel. No, eh, it's slowing down. Um, it, I don't, I don't know. Fun fact: our good friend Harmon Tiara from HNS Transport the man who brings us all the heavy equipment when we go down to Cerro Gordo. He lives like five minutes away from here and he farms pretty much this whole valley. And we're gonna show him our new purchase. He has no idea why we're in town. I just hit him up, I'm like, dude, we're in Yuba City. He's like, come over. All right, harm as it is. It's running, which is more than we can ask for. Because usually when you buy stuff, like we get there and we realize that like, oh, it actually doesn't run. I can't like, well. So you ask why I don't give it a 10 out of 10. Well, the brakes don't really work. <laughs> I know you like there it. it. Is, huh? You sure he's gonna make it back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Goopy motherfucker. <laughs> you need me to haul that home for you? <laughs> Dude, how cool is that That's thing? That's pretty sick. Yeah, isn't that yeah. freaking yeah. awesome? You Somebody here off a marketplace, didn't you? Yeah. I saw it on marketplace. Dude, I saw it the other day and I got obsessed with it. Hey, oh my goodness. State. Isn't that just freaking clean? We even got some shag going on in here. Shag everywhere. Damn. That's what I said, the bubble nose. Oh, yeah. We'll tell you what, we'll sell it to you. <laughs> I, I don't need nothing like that. Yeah, you do. You throw your phone What? That's sick. We just pulled into Harmon's place. Obviously, Harmon's got this big shop here with all the trucks. Before we get on the road, we need to take a quick look at just the essentials 
the fuel leak we need to make sure we get stopped because we don't want to catch on fire front tires got some cracks in them but that is a really weird tire size 8.75 rim 16 and a half never seen that before so when you go over that we're going to um take a quick at the oil cooling system like i said we're going to stop at walmart on the way out of town grab a bunch of tools tire jack because it's about a 10 hour drive between here and home and uh you know there's basically nothing between reno and salt lake so if we break down it's on us to figure it out hold her to the shop you know see what we can find oh yeah she needs a leak here. We'll just cap it off. Cap it? Yeah. Got some old, really just kind of old brittle hoses and wires. Kind of stuff to be expected, but since it looks like it's been on the West Coast or California most of, most of its life, not any rust that's significant that I'm seeing, which is awesome. All right. That's fine. Put them on the rear outers, the rear outers up front, we should be holding. You think it'll make it so late? No. <laughs> you guys be lucky if you make it to the valley. Off we go. Roadside survival kit? Roadside survival kit. We're getting uh, kind of one of everything right now. Life is good. She's running so smooth. I really think this might only have like 4,000 miles on it. And if that's the case, I just stole this thing. I bet you we could restore this thing, modify it, sell it to the right buyer for 100 grand. She'll see. Maybe I'll just keep it in the family forever. Either way, listen to it. Thought I had more. sailing she's got plenty of power well just enough power to be able to do what she needs to do it's really running well though not overheating nothing the fuel gauge is a little bouncy so uh, I'm not gonna risk it I'm gonna just keep her topped off but so far so good we've probably gone 100 miles we've probably got about 550 more so it's going all right One of everything from Walmart. Yeah. Got a good spare. Okay, back 
back up. We'll just give it a little bump again. Okay, right there, bump it. Hold on. I'm gonna drive this real quick. All right, Well, my friends, it's been a long freaking night. Oh man, we were supposed to be home at like 3 or 4 a.m. It's now like 8 a.m. The flat tire and the 65 miles an hour and the multiple fuel stops, well, they added up. But she's home. She's like 20 miles from Salt Lake. And I feel like the Freightliner belongs here. I don't know what we're gonna do with her. Probably gonna change some tires, fix some stuff that broke on the way home. And then I don't know, maybe go camping, maybe sell it, maybe give it away. Drop a comment below, let me know what you guys would like to see us do with this beautiful Freightliner cab over camper. Because it's mint. And that's all I have to say. So get out of here.